afternoon it's Rachel here and we are going to work on this one Easter journal and then we'll work on the other ones in a separate video the loaded bag ones now I don't have a lot made yet but I'm going to go in here and see what pockety things I have that can be one and um, and then uh, we'll make some stuff to go in there so they're all tags and journal cards oh so much fun <gasps> just love it don't oh, I oh, just love it okay that's that love those oh so cool we'll have one of these maybe that one and they can go in the other ones and then we've got that journal card we don't need journal cards yet that's a side tuck. We'll take that. That's an envelope. Actually, I'll have the smaller envelope, I think. And here's a nice pocket. Pocket. Oh, they're side tucky sort of ones. So we'll just choose one of those. They're just, wait, let's see. That's a tag. That's a well, we don't need two of those. I just have one of each type usually. Um, how cute is that? Might not need all these things, but we shall see. What was this? Oh, that was another. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't even remember making all these things. Oh, that's a good one. Do I already have one of those? I don't know. I've got I've got a lot of stuff here. I didn't realise I had so much. Um, have that I've got one of those. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so let's put all of this aside. We'll divide those into the three signatures and then we'll have to make other stuff because I know that there won't be enough in this. But we've got to get cracking because I am going to be going to home to Australia and um. And so I want to have these done before I go, but you'll be seeing this video, you'll be seeing I'll be in Australia. So um, I do need to get crack a Right. Just put the particular things on one side. We'll have that one there. What was this one? Oh, that's an envelope. Well, they're all particular, aren't they? That one and that one. Not nearly enough stuff. That one that one and uh, that one and why do I have two of these they're two the same oh no that one just glues down that one's got a pocket I think I want this one I'll put this one aside I might use two because I can't and then I'll put that there and that's not that's going to be paper clipped onto something but I like to pull those out Right, so not much, but let's see. We'll start off with these and then we'll see because I won't get it all done. Now, I don't want to cover that, but what I can do, I could use this one or I do have a smaller one. Probably this one is going to fit better. Let's see, I'd hope this one because then I can put something bigger in it. Now, when, this is my solution. When I have, this one's going to fit something that I don't want to cover up on my inside cover or externally I use a clear plastic pockety thing and I put it on crooked but it won't really matter um, and you just look up what did I look up I looked up um, clear adhesive label pockets is what I looked up in Italian but you would look it up obviously in English so Okay, so this is the first, so this one is going to glue down onto a page. However, um, it's quite big. This one's a bit smaller. No, it's, uh, yes it is. So let's just see which one I might choose to use. And then I've got that. I'm going to probably put a tab there. don't want to cover that. I don't want anything there. Oh, I'll put something on this paper. This paper is stronger. Even though it's worm attacked, it's stronger. But I don't like to put book page on book page. So I'm a bit of a fuss pot. I could put... Now that is fragile. So what was I thinking with that? I would need to reinforce it, I think. 
I could make it a side tuck, but I feel like it needs reinforcement. I actually really like it there, so I think it will go there. But I need to reinforce here and and the top, there and the top for that one. And then we have this. I could put that there, although that's really covering the... Actually, I really like those colours, so that will go there. And oh, here we've got a book page. But I see this is a different book page. I don't put I don't put the rag paper on the rag paper. Does that make sense? So I could put it on this book page. Now do I feel like I want to I think I would glue that. It's not a top loading packet, is it? I think I would glue that on three sides and make it a top loading pocket and then you've got a pocket there but do I like it there or do I like it more here and I do like it more there so I will put it there I still haven't even gone halfway we've got a side tuck there so that's good this is the center so in the center I think we'll have this side tuck well maybe I would like a matching side tuck just a minute we'll go back over here and grab one of the other ones and have a matching side tuck just bear with me for a second while I find them. Normally I separate my pockets from my tags, but I couldn't find another pouch, so I haven't done it. Here they are. So I don't want two bunnies. I think I'll have that one and, that, and they're pretty together. So there'll be two side tucks there. I won't put anything on there. Now I could have, oh no, I already put that one in. So I'm going to need to do a couple more things. Like I put something, a belly band or something, something else happening in that signature. I could have something there, but I've, I've run out of things. So that's okay. We'll keep on going and then we'll make some extra things. So I haven't glued them in yet because I could change my mind. So that's quite a strong piece. So what I would have here is... I like it on that side, but it's covering that. I'll have this one. I'll put that one there. That's a side tuck pocket, so we don't need any pockets there. Don't you just love that? Would that fit? It'd be quite fun to have a little pocket in there, wouldn't it? I could trim it down. I'll make one. We'll we'll put that further in. That just flips out. I certainly didn't need to leave it open. Um, oh, I think I like that there. Okay, that one's going to go there. We've got a pocket here already. We don't need any more. And here's a nice big plain expanse. We'll put that one. I think I like it on that side. But anyway, we'll see what happens because I'll probably forget. And then I still need to make something else to go in a couple of other pages. And then here... What do we have? We've got the envelope. So let's... We could paper clip. No, it was meant for the other signature. I think I like, look at those colours there. I love that there. And um, because for me, quite often it is a colour thing. I will put on, um, I don't like these papers, don't feel overly, um, I might put that as a belly band. They just don't feel overly strong to me. So I would just put a little side tuck there. I don't have any triangle pockets. I need to make some of those. Um, I don't think I want to cover all of that up. Oh, I just love that. Why don't we have a little pocket on there? And I'll do something there. I'm going to find a spot for the belly band. I'm going to leave that. That's a pocket that's a pocket we've got lots of pockets in this one and we've got this nice page here which is not a weak page 
so we could have a belly band there but I think I would put it on this side so I've put it there yeah I think I'll put it there okay so that's that now we'll put those aside because there's other journals to fill and we need to make some pockets so I'm going to grab my hmm my hmm that makes sense doesn't it just a sec I've got stuff oh no I don't okay I must have where did I put all the scrappy bits did I put them in here I hope I did put them where I should I didn't I don't see them here Now, I had some long bits yesterday, and I don't know where I've put them. Anyway, let's pull out all these papers. So I've got plenty, oh, they're double-sided papers there. I've got plenty um, of vertical paper. Oh, wait, let's pull out all of this stuff too. We need this. Okay. So we have options. I think I pulled out everything. I just would like to know where did I put the other papers. I just don't see them here. Oh, anyway, these things are good. We've got a few. Oh, no, is that one? Aha, found them. I had these leftovers as well. Got them. That's lucky. Okay. Right, so we've got choices. So, I'm not convinced. I think that one, because this is a, a glue page and I can feel that it's a, you know, it's a 1900s page and it's kind of fragile. I am actually going to put that back in the pouch and I'm going to back that and make it into a journal card. I just don't feel like it can hold up to being a pocket. So I've got that there, that's fine. Um, now... You know what would be really cute here is some sort of, I just love these papers that Steffi did, just some sort of, um, so cute, side tuck, um, triangle tuck. I don't know why I've got a piece of paper like that there. See, these are going to be good for wraparounds. Got the hiccups. I just drank a coffee and have the hiccup. Oh. That'd be nice diagonal. Oh, oh I've got these. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, I've got to get cracking. There's so much good stuff here to use. I don't think I want embroidery with an embroidery. Let me cut this one out. How is everyone today? I hope you're well. I'm getting quite a bit of crafting in this afternoon, which is good. Uh, I do have, oh, I didn't mention, I do have the light on. It's dark. You know, it's a dull day again. This is quite often, happens quite often here during winter. It's just a dull grey day with no phenomenon, just grey. Um, and so I, um, I have to have my light on. So you're probably seeing it. everything's a bit yellower. You'll be seeing reflection on, on the plastic there, which I apologise for. Right, so what I'm thinking is I could, I might tear that, I don't know, but I could put that on there, fold it like that, not that far. Oh, yes, and that's going to be a top tuck. So what I might do is go like this. Then I might put my crease. Oh, I had it about right there so i'll fold it the other way obviously so that way i know where i need to fold so let me just i'll put my glue on here glue book where are they here they here they, here they are 
making up my old English. Of course, I don't know how to speak in old English. I hate, I, I, well, I won't say that word, but I, I enormously disliked trying to decipher what they were saying in the Shakespearean period. It wasn't my forte. I really did struggle with it. I did like the stories, though. They were good, good stories. But I just, you know, the, the, the English was not easy. I nearly forgot to leave my tab. Imagine, you know, imagine um, Lulu, like, well, she speaks English, but she obviously for her, English literature is quite hard. Same as Italian literature is not easy either. Um, but they do it intensely at their school. Like they do more than probably what we did. And um, imagine the, the kids in her class that don't, are not English speaking. They really, the poor things, and they have to learn all of this English literature and the meanings and everything off by heart. And um, and it really is a struggle for them. Tuck that in there. We have a top tuck. And I don't often do those because I forget about them. But there we have a really pretty top tuck. And I love that. Makes me happy. We've got that there. And I might, and then I might just, you know, put a textile or something as well. Because I feel like it does need, or a label. Some sort of label. Let's just cut one out. Why not? And see, might be too big because I love this here. I don't want to cover. I might no. Actually, I'm quite right. It's too big. I need to go to the smaller, smaller ones. Where are they? Oh dear. I see it. I know where it is. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Smaller. I did sort them out a little bit. Except then I found I had those ones that I just pulled out and put down. Um, I need slightly smaller. Or I could have mini. Or I could have this size. So we'll see. Oh, that one's already cut out. That's a bonus. But see, that's too big. I don't want to cover that flower there. So I am going to be a fuss pot. I kind of like the colours in this one. Let's just try this one. So this is not like I have it in my in under my Easter section because originally when I did these we did them from Easter papers but most of them don't have a bunny on them and they don't have happy Easter on them. So well they don't have an Easter bunny because you can have a regular bunny that's just more um uh nature. So they don't have to be just used what my whole point is is they don't have to no don't like that one either they don't have to just be used for easter there you go that's my point got it out took a long time actually these ones were more french ones that's from the french chateau um kit and then there's some from the italian kits so they're not these are not all easter at all so i had i just saw one that shouldn't be there oh i don't mind that one i could put it over a bit further I think I like that there but do you know what I feel like I feel like I need to go and find which I won't do right now I'll just I'll just have it floating there I'm going to put a little bit of um maybe cheesecloth behind yeah I don't think I want fabric because fabric will be too thick just I'll have to get get the cheesecloth and put that behind there and that's where that's going to go so I'll just put that there love that okay so we actually, I probably should have something on here, but I don't want to have like 20 million pockets, do I? Um, what else do I have flying around? I've got plenty. I'll shuffle papers left and right. That's what's going to happen. A lot of shuffling. I could put that there. This is on a cardstock, so it's um, a bit fat, more faded as a printout. I think I'm going to put that there. Do I? I think I'll put it on this side. Because that's quite dec decorated there, and I don't, and I and I love that rough edge. So I think I'll cut this out, and I'll probably embellish it with something afterwards. I wish I had time to do more. I really do. Who doesn't love a bunny rabbit? 
not in the boiler sense of the word at all. There's my glue. I put my glue away for once. Huh. Interesting concept, Rachel. Okay. That's going to go there. And it will get some sort of embellishment on it. Let's just grab a dry, wet one. And um, isn't that funny? Dry, wet one. Um, and just smush the glue out. I will need to... I might put a little collage something. Here's a scrap. Just something there to... Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it actually goes with that. It's a totally different kit. So I'll just tear it in the spirit of tearing things okay that's enough and we will glue that down I think it's upside down but I don't care it's just a pretty just to cover up the some of the white of the of the tag side tuck. This one I was going to glue. I think I'll glue it there. I might grab this glue just because it dries fast and the Tombow is just fine, but this one dries faster. It's just a little bit harder work squeezing it out because it's flash bond. It's a bit like it's the same type of glue as Fabri-Tac. Not much is coming out, guys. I think it's got a blockage. Oh, no, here it comes. I have to squeeze so hard because it's so fine. But if I squeeze it from its actual bottle, like a huge amount comes out. Okay, I'm going to rub, run over this, just make sure. If it's not, there's anything coming up, you know, I didn't get any glue there, I just come back and add some glue. So that's that one. What was I going to do with this one? I was going to add it here as a side tuck. Um, I don't know whether I can be bothered to struggle with that. Actually, I can use it out of the bottle because I've got ample space to put stuff in. If it too much comes out, oh, 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 here it comes. I didn't even tell it to come out yet. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I put it in the right spot. I did. Oh my heavens, it's gone, bo it's gone bonkers. You crazy glue. This is why I don't use that from that bottle. Like, you do. I don't know if you can. Oh my god, it's still oozing. It's like. It, it, I, I don't even have it upside down and it's fire, shooting out the glue and it's you know it, I don't I don't think it's a, a non-toxic glue so I don't like to get it on myself oh, I'm putting you away you naughty glue naughty look can you see what it's done look at that it just went crazy lucky I didn't hold it over the journal so I'm going to have so much glue oozing out of this it's going to be ridiculous I'll be here till tomorrow getting rid of the ooze. Here it is. I'm just going to go around once and then I'll put pressure and go around again. It'll glue my pages together and that'll be that. Oh, don't get on me glue. I don't want you. You're not my friend. I'm going to have... Look, look, gluing my pages together. This is not the best. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some clips there. It'll keep the pages off each other. So hopefully they don't stick. At least we know that's going to be stuck on, don't we? 
that there and there and that way that won't touch yes that's okay right let's move on over that trauma that traumatized me so that's a side tuck i may put some sort of embellishment in the future okay i'm going to go back to my tombow glue because it cooperates a lot better this is the best applicator this one. i've tried i see you ladies out there using you um i don't know who um with your wonderful glue applicators and honestly i still haven't found the perfect one this is per this one is great i this one i do like i've got a blob a hard blob of glue there i have to get that off you know dried dried glue that's not good either i feel like the tombow applicator gives the best amount and that one i need to glue on just gotta be careful which side you're putting your glue on because otherwise you'll be forced to put it on the other page on another page because i already glued that one down okay whoops whoops i might need to put when it, if it's not holding you just need to grab your little clips you do it's really hard i find it hard to get away with gluing my pockets or tucks on without having to often use a little clip and just until it holds it doesn't take long it's like a matter of minutes that seems to be all right okay love it keep on going now do i have any more in this signature you can see it's quite a long process isn't it um where else do i feel like we might need something there not here not there and that's it okay so just one more thing here i think oh. right let's just close this and i'm just going to get rid of that that um flash bond because it really stinks cover that up put the lid on there while i procrastinate just a little bit and oh you know what i do have um if, i think they're in here i've got uh these the big ones printed where are they where did i put them i printed them on really thick paper oh they're behind here they are yeah and i'm going to put one as a little mini pocket i could have that one i love i love the one with the bunny i think those colors are going to be good so obviously you're not getting as intense print out as with my hp paper because this is a thicker paper however they're quite nice to put as a little pocket for a little tag or journal card or a little something and i'm not covering up all of the writing space because we don't want to do that now i think for me unless you were to go away at easter somewhere fun um i think like a three signature journal is a lot for easter well i'm not a big journaler you might be a big journaler and paint and do all kinds of things but um so i feel like you know maybe one signature would suffice even might even be too much but you might do a two-day spread 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 for each day or something it still would be too much for the amount of pages that are in here but you know a journal like this probably last you a few years is what i'm thinking those are my thoughts anyway and i'm going to put that there as a little teeny tiny pocket i'm using my tombow tom tombow i just can't i just not even speaking properly today oh oh look i printed accidentally on both sides their boo-boos are rife aren't they okay
Okay. Oh, I've gone quiet because I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Right. Next signature. Let's go to the next one. Now, where, I was going to put that there or was I going to put it there? I was going to put it here because I like... It doesn't matter. It's just a printout. It's upside down anyway. Um, I like the colours more on that page. You know, on, on the on the on the book pages, I mean, they're a good place. You can add another pocket. Um, you could gesso on them with you know, like a semi-transparent sort of layer of gesso and do writing or paint on them. You can. You know, could do a little bit of collage, leaving it so you can see a bit of the book page. Not that I need to tell you what to do, and um, and put photographs, or you might have picked up ephemera, you might have gone away somewhere, you need to put your ticket somewhere. You know, anything can happen on that page. It's just because it's got writing on it doesn't mean you can't use it. There we go. That's my thing. Now, did I need to create something for here? I can't remember. Oh no, we've got a pocket there. I like to do one, I like to put a pocket, especially when there's sort of not much happening, but I feel like there's plenty happening here with those, so I'm not going to. And then I've got the side tuck there, so I don't really need another pocket. Um, you know, the more pockets you add, the more you're going to bulk out your journal as well, so you need to be aware of that. Um, I don't think I'll, I've got the flip out there on that one. I've got, I love this, the colours of this with this paper, so this is good. I'm happy with this one. Oh, the way I'm sitting, I'm getting a stiff neck. And you might say, have a whinge, Rachel. I think some of my, my siblings, my older, or maybe my sister might have said that to me when I was younger. Probably my older brother. Okay, so... There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Don't know why I did that. I might just put, there's a bit of oozy glue there. I was probably a bit generous, so I just put, put that there. Just keep that hopefully off there. And we've got a, oh, we've got a swing pocket there. I think we did that together in the last video. This is going to be a side tuck. Why do I always like everything on that side? I'm going to put it on that side just to change the sides. I actually quite like that. But anyway, we're going to cover that. Rachel Amelia. That's where Lulu went and saw the Harry Styles concert. That's a half an hour past Modena. It's always in our region, Emilia Romagna. But it's probably an hour north of Bologna. There you go. There's some geography for you. Okay, that looks like it's going to stick okay. So we'll keep on, that's Steffi, he just did a big sneeze, if you're wondering what that noise was. Um, that's just going to be paper clipped. And I did like that there. And this is a side tuck that's going here. Now I did say, if I remember, oh no, it's going over here. No, it's going here. So I did say I probably need to reinforce this a little bit, right? So what I could do which would be fun and fresh, as my nephews would say, that's fun and fresh, um, is, or did Lulu used to say that? No, I think my nephews used to tell me to calm my farm. Calm your farm, Rachie, they used to say to me, my oldest nephews. Calm your farm. And Lulu would say, Mum, that's fun and fresh. I like these sayings that the, the young ones have. So I'm going to glue this on. I'll show you. You'll see. And I will be very pleased with it. I know. Oh, I wish I could. Actually, I'm, well, I need to fold it first. So I'm going to fold it in half, long ways. I bet you can guess. Oh, and then I'm going to snip my corners. It's a bit small to do the... The clippers, you know, the clipping. I probably could manage it, but anyway, I'm going to cut them with my scissors. Okay. 
So hopefully by the time you see these journals, even me working on the, not by the time you see me, like by the end of February, um, I will have put, I will have already put these in my shop and they will have gone to their new owners. Now, this is where I go crooked. We'll just put that up there. You just stop there. I'll put the scissors on there. The struggle is real, isn't it? And I need to try and be straight. I need to, I try my best, but I'm not. I've got crooked eyes. They don't see straight. No, it's not happening. Good thing I'm not, you know, a perfectionist. I think I am absolutely because I have to be not a perfectionist because otherwise I'd be permanently frustrated with myself. See, nice tab, long one. I'll lift up the page with ease and it's a little bit stronger and I'm going to glue this on now. Oh, that was exhausting. Now I always recommend when you put your pockets in maybe a couple of times after you've you know you've got them all in there and they've been in there for a minute or two or three or four um, just to keep going back and double checking what you've done making I mean of course I like to go through I will flip through these journals mo millions of times before I'm satisfied with them and little things will happen probably each time that I I do that and um, and I just go through and make sure they're not sticking together the pages so I'm just going to put that there I'll tell you why because there's lots of glue easing I think I've gone bananas with the glue I'm liking the look of that, you know. That was just something that happened. So we'll put that over there like that. Don't know what I'm going to do there yet. It'll come to me. Don't have to do all the things now. That was going to glue on there. I, I am in love with those. I can't even believe that I parted with them and put them in the journal. But you know what? What am I going to do with everything? I have so much stuff. I collect for fear of things running out. I have the opportunity to collect, um, so I do, and I, I, I just, you know, think if I don't, if I let that go, um, there won't be any more. Well, there won't. Eventually, there won't be any more. So, this is why we must collect. But I'm happy to share. It's one of the things that brings me joy in the world is sharing. I love gift giving. Especially, I don't like gift giving when I don't know what the person likes. Like there are some some people in my life that are difficult. Um, there's one person in my life, in my in my life and my siblings' life, that we give that person. I won't say any names. Not that they're watching the videos, but I won't. I won't. You know, shame them. But whatever we have given them, we then go down and it's in the garage. So that person, we just can't get it right. That's on us. We just don't know what we just we just always get the wrong thing, obviously. But we multiple, and they're in the garage, and we're like, oh, but we like that. We would have kept that. I'm taking off those clips because they don't need to. I may need to re-glue there. I didn't may may not have put enough. There's still glue oozing. So anyway, I'll leave those clips on. I think I just put them on. Okay, so here I don't think I'll cover that up. Oh, let's just have a think about it. My glasses were down on my nose, closing it. Just in case you wanted to know that, I couldn't breathe. Um, oh, I know what I'm going to do. we do another top tuck. I really liked how that worked out on the first page. I think we're going to have another one here. So whoever gets this journal, think of me. When you look at the, my favourite, favourite, favourite page is that. You just think of me when you look at that piece of paper and know that I love it. And I put it in the journal. Okay, we're going to do the same thing as the other one. So, I think I'm just having a little bit too much fun today. That's going to be a top tuck. And we're not covering... 
you know, all of the writing space. And in the top tuck, you can put um, um, some writing paper. You can have even more writing space. Not that there's there's plenty in this journal because it's for Easter. It's not. Although you could use it as a springtime journal, couldn't you? You might like to do journaling in springtime because it's pretty nature filled. Now I I didn't. I need to actually. I might. Excuse me. I've I've pushed it in too far, so I'm just going to redo my fold about there. That's okay. That'll still work, but I need to put my glue. You may think it's a very messy way of doing things, but it works. I shall put my glue on here so I get it the right height and across the top here. That's a better amount of glue. I think I've been a bit vigorous with the gluing. And then flip it over. And there we go. We've got a top tuck. And I'll probably come back and put, when it's dry, I don't want to mess with it now while it's drying, I will put a little snip there. So that way you can see easily that it's a top tuck. Oh, and I really like how that all looks. That just happened. That was an accident, happy accident. Oh, and here then I had run out, hadn't I? So I better go through carefully and decide where I want to put something. Maybe something on here. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I keep telling you about my back, but it's really hurting. Uh, I might do another, oh, I could do another one of these. I've got these. That one. This one is really pretty. I think I might put that on that side. It's not covering up too much of that wonderful paper. So at least we've got our pockets happening in this one journal. We need to get it all happening in the other um, loaded bags. But it will happen. Okay, so I'm going to put that as a side tuck. It's a good option sometimes to not cover up all of something that you really like, like if it's an old rag paper or something like this one. I don't want to cover it all up, so I just put one of these on. I will come back and put something on there. Or I might leave this one. I'll just see how busy I feel like the journal is as well. Okay, don't know about that bit there. Yeah, I've got my side tuck there. I'll probably snip. I might put something down there. I don't know. I'm not up to that yet. And that's that. Oh, I wanted to put this belly band here. So let's top and bottom it. I'm wondering whether to glue that. I might flip that round the other way. I think I'll flip that round the other I actually think I might. Well, I might better side tuck. Is it big enough? Yeah, I'm going to do that that side and this is going to be on this side. Now, I could make it a side tuck. I think I might like it more as a side tuck. I'll tell you why. Because um, I just think it would be more stable on that old paper. I'm sitting in, I, I, in a slope on my chair. I'm sloping. I'm not sitting properly. It's an issue. Like if my chair didn't have sides, I would fall off it and crash. That's how, that's what, how slopey, slopey I'm sitting. I'm a slopey sitter, sitting on a slope. Okay, I think I'm going to make that a side tuck, but it's not... I know I've made shallow side tucks like that before, but I kind of feel like it's not deep enough. So I'm going to go over here, pull out this, let me see. I'm going to add this. That's what I'm going to add. Huh. It's just on copy paper, but it's nice strong copy paper, this one, and it's just going to glue onto there. It won't be fun gluing it on there, I don't think. It, oh, well, actually, I'll just put the glue onto here and then I'll be all right. I will survive. 
Now I would normally fold it over. Actually, I could fold it over and then cut it out and little bits of it will be strengthened. I'll fold it over like this because I usually strengthen my, my um, copy paper. So let's put the glue. Get rid of that. Oh, itchy cheek. It's all happening. Just going to fold that over. Let's see if this works. Trim. Not the best cutting in the world, but it will do the job. And there it's strengthened. How about that? And now that, yes, that is strength and see, it's all doubled over. Cool. That's going to glue on. Oh, that's going to be really pretty. That's going to glue on there. So I just need to trim it. Actually, I'm going to fold it up the other way. That's what I'm going to do. Because you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I like wrapping things around sometimes. So I think first I'm going to put my glue on here technical isn't it put my glue on there yes swoosh it on the old bodgy paper that we love okay and then I do need to run a bit of glue on this edge because I didn't go right to the edge of that so I just want to make sure I have enough glue on here that it gets right to the edge because you don't want it lifting and maybe a bit across there and a bit across there. So we'll put this on and then I'll do the wrap around afterwards. Yeah, that looks good to me. Glue that down. So I've extended my pocket and that, oh, I don't want it that high, oops there yep we've just added another little detail over here so I'll put my paper under there and glue that okay and that's further strengthened that paper oops it's a bit sticky and then here I mean, you could have this flip up if you... Oh, I've, I've already wrapped that. Oh, yay, that's already glued. Okay, ding dong. So I need to glue up here. I didn't think about that. I should have done that last. But that's okay, because that's going to hold the pocket. I'll put a little bit of glue. I think that's all good. Okay. there's my, I've got... So this page is a double whammy side tuck. That one. And I think... I think I'm done for that so far. I will do, I need to, I'll probably paper clip something on there. Although we didn't do any wrap around pockets, did we? And we had some nice things that we could wrap around. I could wrap around this. That's really pretty. Or I could wrap around this. Oh, that's super cute as well. How do I choose? Okay, let's see which one looks. I love that. I think I like that one. It's this one. But this, again, I'm just going to make that a little tab. And I'm just going to glue that right on. It's not going to be a pocket. I, You know, we can't have 20 million pockets. That's just silly. So I'm going to put my glue on here. Put my glue on there. See, I'm not even reinforcing it. It will be fine. And I'm also going to... No, I think I'll put my tongue glue on after. I like to go like, put it on like this. Just a sec. I'll put that there. Oh, it's meant to stick out a bit. That's right. There. There we go. And then glue that down. 
sort of kind of. Mm -hmm. I love those colours. It's really all happening for me. And then here we just need to put our glue. And then we'll just have a look and see what we've, what's been happening. Got a lovely pocket there. I'll, I'll do a little semicircle snip there afterwards. We've got a pocket that's also a tab, and I love doing that. That's one of my other favourite things to do. So let's just go through and see what's happening. And this journal will end up being chunky monkey. I can already tell because just adding in the pockets. This is how we go. We're not doing too badly, but then it will bulk out when you start putting the the journal things in. Now that's got to go there, but I'm going to grab some cheesecloth. Um, we've got a top tuck here. Oh, I'm so excited. This has been a lot of fun today. Um, got a little side tuck there. Just making sure all my pages are not stuck together. I've got a nice pocket there. Um, this is a side tuck and we've got a pocket here and a flip out. Side tuck there with two side tucks in the center. A little pocket here that was already there pocket here that's just one of the journal cards um, put in as a pocket that's also something that I like to do we've got a side tuck there that might need a little um, band there to hold things in that just lifts out there's a pocket there and it did end up sticking. That's a flippy out pocket. That's a side tuck with a pocket. That's going to paper clip there. That's a side tuck. We can take those off now. And a little later I'll come back and flip through again. See that's stuck? Just slow, carefully just slide your finger through where it's stuck. Like this, see this? Just go that nice pocket there top tuck with a tab we had a little side tuck on that one love the colors haven't decided about that we've got that one there again I might put a little band that's a pocket I've got a side tuck side tuck we extended that one and then this is another pocket with a tab oh i'm just in love with it it's just really i love it it's just fun and look at the tapestry really really nice okay i hope you enjoyed that that's my video for today um the next video i will will put the pockets in in one of the other ones and and the other one i'll have to do off camera because it will take too long and then we'll be able to start filling them but i don't have enough stuff to fill them so we have some still have some more making to do so have a wonderful day and i will see you again soon bye